behind me lies one of L.A. County's most exclusive private schools. I'm very glad that I was born white. <laughs> a safe haven for the children of the rich and the privileged. We will not tolerate racial slurs at Roxbury. At least my dad isn't a money-grubbing Jew shyster. You can use him at any other time. At home, at the mall, at rock and roll concerts. I don't want to ever catch you being a racist. This is not to say, you know, you have license to bring R. Kelly home for dinner, okay? Kimberly Joyce. You had the face of an angel. Throw in a ripe little pubescent body. But the devil wears a gray skirt, my friend. Be careful. Mr. Anderson's kind of weird, especially around girls. Reminds me of those skirts that the girls wear at your school. Really? Hi, Mr. Anderson. Hi, Hi girls. Paul. Huh. Mando, what's the greatest thing about this country? Sylvester Stallone? No. Is that anybody can sue anybody at any time over anything. You want to sue Mr. Anderson? I'm a little school girl. I don't want Mr. Anderson to sue. Thank me. Do you suppose that it might jumpstart me and Brittany's acting careers? Today, this hallowed institution was rocked with allegations of sexual assault. If one emblematic figure has emerged, it would have to be beautiful young plaintiff Kimberly Joyce. My mother always taught me not to talk too much, and when I did, she used to spank me. She spanked me so hard. Okay. He said, now I'm going to touch you on your boobs. I would never say boobs. I'm, I'm an English teacher. Breast. Mr. Anderson. Breast. Uh, uh, uh. Look, I'm really trying, but I don't know how to be sexy. I mean, I'm only 15. Was all of this really just to get famous? It's like the whole world is this orchestra and I'm the conductor. Daddy, I would never do anything to hurt you or your reputation. Yay, Kimberly. Good. Good.